This is a Simtex tutorial on how to add GOI 12B to Corcon. Yeah, go to Google and type in GOI 12B. Select the GOI 12B data download link. You'll be brought to the NGS GOI 12B webpage. Scroll down, you want to go to the data download section and select the appropriate region. You'll be taken to the download page for the region you selected. Just scroll down and look at the grids. Find out which ones uh, you want for your region of the country. I'm going to just go ahead and click on grid zero. That, that covers the entire uh, CONUS. The pop-up menu will appear and select save link as. The browse dialog box will pop up and browse to the Corcon Geoid subdirectory. And click the save button. You'll need to do this for each one of the grids that you want to download. Once the desired grids are downloaded, we need to make a text file so that Corcon knows which files to use when uh, looking up uh, the geoid separation. So we'll need to create a text file containing the file names of all of those grids we downloaded. And we'll put this in that geoid subdirectory in Corcon also. Right click inside of the geoid subdirectory to pull up the uh, submenu. Name your new blank document uh, geoid12b.txt. We need to put the file names of those grids that we downloaded from the geoid12b web page in that text doc. Enter in each file name. Uh, each one needs to be on its own line. I'm only putting in BU0 which covers the entire CONUS. Um, if you just had individual regions you would just add those in. And don't forget to save the document. Now we just gotta tell Corcon about that file. So go into the setup page, select the geoid tab, click on the browse button under the custom geoid data set, and find and select that geoid 12b text file we, we just created. Click OK. Now let's check it out to make sure we get the right answer. Let's go to the setup page. And you can see here we're going from GRS80 to NAVD88. We'll use this to check our results. So let's do a conversion from uh, GRSR80 to NAVD88. Enter in a latitude, longitude, and ellipsoid height. I'm making that ellipsoid height a zero, so it's easy to see what the magnitude of the, of the uh, conversion was. You can see the difference between those datums is 15.619 meters. So now we need to check that. I'm going to check that against the NGS online geoid 12B converter. So back on our uh, NGS geoid 12B web page, you see the link over on the right, geoid 12B interactive computations. This will bring us to their, their online utility. Let's put the web page and Corcon next to each other so we can uh, cut and paste between them. Okay, so let's copy and paste the latitude longitude from Corcon over into the Geoid 12B utility.
and then check to see that both Corcon and the NGS online utility give you the same result. If so, you're good to go. This was a SimTex tutorial on adding Geoid 12B to Corcon.